channel the learning hub pompa majumdar today i am here with an important topic and it is all about math children we have already learned about forward counting from 1 to 40 and today we are going to learn about a little bit different topic that is backward counting from 10 to 0 i repeat backward counting from 10 to 0 but first i would like to quick recap of forward counting forward means aage barna forward means aage barna so what is forward counting forward counting is counting by adding one more every time i repeat Forward counting is counting by adding one more every time. For example, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Now children, one more time and observe very carefully. The number is increasing one by one every time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So this is called forward counting. Now let's move on to the backward counting. Backward means piche. Backward means piche jana. So what is backward counting? Backward counting is counting by removing one every time. I repeat, backward counting is counting by removing one every time. So let's learn backward counting from 10 to 0. First, we we'll learn on our fingers. Okay? So, we all know there are 10 fingers in our both hand. How many fingers do we have? 10 fingers. So, no need to count. So, let's start. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. So children, one more time and observe very carefully. The number is decreasing one by one every time. So let's start. Everyone show me your 10 fingers like this. Very good. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. So this is called backward counting. This is called backward counting. Now we will learn this concept through number line. So here we go. Now children, look here. Numbers are already marked over here below the lines. That's why this is called number lines. Now let's count number 1 to 10. First, forward counting. 1, 2, 3, 4, then 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So this is called forward counting. Forward counting. Observe very carefully. The number is decreasing one by one every time. So that's why this one is called forward counting. Now, backward counting means piche ana. So we have to start from 10. 10 to 0. So start 
10, then 9, then 8, then 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. So this is called backward counting. This is called backward counting. Means piche ana. Forward means aage barna. Backward means piche jana. So this is called backward counting. Backward counting. So observe very carefully here. The number is decreasing one by one every time. So that's why this one is called backward counting and this one is called forward counting. So children, what is the difference between forward counting and backward counting? The number increases in forward counting. Look, the number is increasing one by one every time. So number increases in forward counting means in forward counting number becomes bigger and in backward counting number is decreasing one by one every time means number becomes smaller like 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Zero. So here the number is decreasing one by one every time. Means number becomes smaller. Number becomes smaller. And one more important thing, the forward counting means moving to the right side. Moving to the right side. This is your right side and this one is your left side. So forward counting means moving to the right side and backward counting means moving to the left side so this is forward counting means aage barna and this is backward counting means piche aana piche ke taraf counting 10 everyone speak along with me 10 then 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2, 1, 0. This is called backward counting. Now children, we are going to learn the concept backward counting through an interesting game. This is called reverse walk. So let's start. First we have to stand in a point that is number 10. And now we have to move back but without seeing. So let's begin. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. So children, this is called backward counting. One more time and observe very carefully. The number is decreasing one by one every time. Means in backward counting number becomes smaller. So everyone look very carefully and speak up along with ma'am. So let's start. Again we have to go back to the point that is number 10. Now we have to move back side. Let's begin. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. So children, you can also play this game at home along with your parents and friends. Through this game, you can learn this concept backward counting from 10 to 0 or 20 to 0 very nicely and easily. Now children, we are going to learn this concept through a beautiful rhyme. Five little ducks went out one day, 
Over the hills and far away, Mama Duck said, Quack, quack, quack. But only four little ducks came back. Four little ducks went out one day. Over the hills and far away, Mama Duck said, Quack, quack, quack. But only three little ducks came back. Three little ducks went out one day. Over the hills and far away, Mama Duck said, Quack, quack, quack. But only two little ducks came back. Two little ducks went out one day. Over the hills and far away, Mama Duck said, Quack, quack, quack. But only one little duck came back. One little duck went out one day. Over the hills and far away, Mama Duck said, Quack, quack, quack. But none of the little ducks came back. Yes, so there were five little ducks. Five, then four, then three, then two, then one, then zero. This one is also backward counting. Now children, we are going to write backward counting from 10 to zero. So everyone look at the board very carefully. Here I have already written number one to ten. This is called forward counting. But now we are going to write backward counting from 10 to 0. So first we have to write number 10. 1, 0, 10. Then 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one zero so this is how we write backward counting from 10 to 0 children did you observe very carefully here the number is decreasing one by one every time so what is backward counting backward counting is counting by removing one every time so that means in backward counting, number becomes smaller. So children, let's write one more time and everyone speak up along with ma'am. 1, 0, 10. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. 1, 0, 10. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. So children, we have learned how to write backward counting from 10 to 0. So keep practicing. Now we are going to learn this concept through an interesting activity. So let's go for it. Children, today we are learning about backward counting. So let's learn this concept through an interesting activity. So what is the name of this activity? Putting and taking out babes. To do this activity, here I have taken an empty bowl and some colorful stones. First, I am going to put these stones inside this bowl. So let's begin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This is called forward counting. Now I am going to take out these beads one by one. So let's start. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, Zero. So children, in this activity, what do you notice? If you count forward, you have one more each time. And if you count backward, you have one less each time. So children, I hope the backward counting concept is clear to everyone. Now you can speak and write backward counting very nicely and clearly. You just need practice. So keep practicing. 
So friends, I hope you like this video. If you like this video, then please subscribe, like and share it with your family and friends. And don't forget to press the bell icon for more interesting upcoming videos. So thanks for watching video. Bye-bye.